This is the evening sky map for September 2019. You can download the sky maps at skymaps.com each month. And this is the sky map for the northern hemisphere. You can also get sky maps for the southern hemisphere as well as, well as for equatorial regions. On the left of the sky map is a sky calendar that shows the position of the moon as well as several planets during the month. Also, if there's any comets or other interesting meteor showers, this will be located on the sky calendar. If you look at the night sky, on your sky map, north is the top part of your map and south is on the uh, bottom part of your map. However, east is to the left and west is to the right. So in order to view this properly, you will point this, hold the sky map over your head and point the top of your sky map towards the north. And if you're at HBU, north will be towards downtown. In that case, west will be to the left and east will be to the right like it should be. This blue band across the sky map is the Milky Way galaxy. You won't be able to see the Milky Way from HBU because of light pollution. You will see some brighter stars and planets will be located along this dotted line which is the ecliptic or the plane of the solar system. Right now we have Jupiter, which is very bright, as well as Saturn. Uh, if you can locate two planets, or the moon, the moon will also be along the ecliptic. If you can locate two planets or the moon, then you can draw an imaginary line to find another planet. In this case, we have Neptune that is located in Aquarius. Uh, at the 10th of this month, Met Neptune will be at opposition in the midnight sky. This is the best time to view the most distant planet. A planet is opposition where it's on the same side as the sun as the earth. And that's when it's going to be the, the closest to the earth or the most brightest. Uh, it will have a magnitude of 7.8. There's also a magnitude scale on the bottom of the sky map. The larger the magnitude, the dimmer the star. So a magnitude 4 star is going to be much more dim than a magnitude negative 1 star. You can also see other objects on the sky map, for example, galaxies, double stars, variable stars, diffuse nebulae, planetary nebulae, open star clusters, and globular clusters. The galaxies are shown by the little elliptical ovals here. These will not be visible from Houston. They're telescopic objects, and you will need a, a dark sky to view these. To find the North Star, if you can locate the Big Dipper, the two pointer stars in the Big Dipper, which would be the end of the cup here, if you draw an imaginary line from the pointer stars, that will be Polaris, our North Star, and that's actually the tail of the Little Dipper, or Ursa Minor. If you're looking on our sky map, you can also see that Mercury and well as Venus will be entering the night sky later in the month. To find these, you will look towards in the west right after sunset, and they will be located around this region of your sky map. So your homework is to find Jupiter and Saturn on the sky map. You may also want to download the Sky View app for your Android or cell phone.